Hello everybody, I'm still staying with the weird perspective here, but you know, I find it at the moment quite comfortable, so let's stick with it. Um, you see maybe a little bit too much wall here, but that should be alright. I'm uh, gonna talk about the Serie A games, where I watched a lot more uh, Serie A today than I watched Premier League. Um, it just happened to work better. And when my little daughter was napping next to me on the couch, or basically on me here on the shoulder, I could actually watch uh, quite some of you with Sampdoria, um, where Ronaldo gave you an early lead and you thought, yeah, this is the way how it's gonna go. Um, but Sampdoria got a very contentious penalty where Cagliarella just slammed it in, uh, make it 1-1. Uh, in the second half, there was then a, a period where you just couldn't help. Juventus was gonna score there. Uh, Matuidi D had a great chance. I know Ronaldo, and they never really showed it in the replay because Juve kept the pressure on. Uh, Ronaldo, I think the goalkeeper got with his hand there and puts it on the bar. Um, but no, was not meant to be. But then Ju Juve gets a very contentious penalty. Uh, I hate those hand penalties. I would not have, if it was down to me, I would not even give him the one in the World Cup final. I gotta be 100% honest on that one. I would not have given that penalty, and I would not have given the penalty that Juve got today. But I know it is um, a proof. You know, the, if you are very correct in following the law, yes, the hand was not. Like this, uh, moving away, it was at the ball, yeah, whatever. Ronaldo makes it 2-1. Uh, Juve cannot really capitalize and make more out of, out, out of it. And then a stoppage type, Saponara, who already made this wonderful goal against Lazio, gets the equalizer. Or did he? Everyone is celebrating. It was the 92nd minute. I mean, commentators were even saying, yeah, there's still some time for Juve to win it. And then suddenly you see VAR. And you see one an offside call that even on the video, yes, it probably was offside, but it was one of those where the Sampdoria game or play is not even making a pass really. Again, if you're super nitpicky, and this was uh, two or three passes before actually Saponara was offside, he was offside. Uh, the ball, when it was played, I don't think it went to him, it went outside. It was a very weird situation. Something that to me was a little bit too inconclusive to really uh, make this uh, call for the uh, offside. But the referee takes it away. Juventus wins. Um, what can I say? Conspiracy theorists will say yes, of course, Juve gets the calls. Probably, but you know, Sampdoria also got a penalty. But I think this was one of those examples where maybe VAR ruined the game more than it helped. Um, and in Italy, VAR is working well, but I don't think it was working here very well. Need of the penalties should have been given, and I'm not even sure about the equalizer. Um, I think it ruined a little bit the game, to be very, very honest. Uh, the second game then that then, then that I watched then. I was between Lazio and Torino, uh, Genoa, Fiorentina, and Parma, Roma. And then I said, well, Parma, Roma, that's the only t uh, game where I actually like both teams. So let's watch that one. Um, very young Roma team, really young. I mean, Chiavini was playing for Parma, and I don't think they were. Maybe Florenzi was on the field when Chiavini uh, was playing. I think all all the others have and played. I don't. I'm not one 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 hundred percent on that, but I think that's how it seems to me. Um, very young your Roma team, and that's probably is going to get dangerous. I think Roma needed time, and I think Roma is coming now. I really feel like that, and um, with everyone above Roma not really playing that well, if Roma gets something going, they really can get very dangerous. Um, they were dangerous for 20 minutes, held a lot of possession, but then suddenly they lost a little bit the plot. Um, still controlling it, but Parma was a little bit more dangerous, I had the feeling. So yeah, um, it was nil nil at the halftime, and then after the half, I think Roma got their act together. De Sante uh, makes a header 
after crossing and um, it was kind of weird how it went in right behind the goalpost but it was 1-0 it was in the 58th, uh, Cenk is in the assist and Inga puts the game away and Roma gets a deserved win. And interestingly, I think there's no team that Parma has made less points against than Roma. Even you went in and they had more points. So that's a kind of crazy statistic. And momentarily, a Roma even needs Lok Milan. Other results, I saw them uh, a little bit at the end of Lazio against Torino because I saw the Roma game was done. I didn't want to watch the final minutes and so that was as if I haven't used much. Um, where Belotti, uh, basically the last kick of the first half, puts um, Torino ahead um, and Milinkovic Savic around the 60th um, equalizes with a wonderful thunderous shot. There were also two red cards given. Let me check these out here yeah, for Marusic for Lazio in the 86th and then Naite in the 90th for a Torino. A lot of cards given. There are four yellow cards for each and one, one or two red cards. So yeah, kind of a rough game. And again, Lazio should get more. And wonderful choices. Absolutely one wild watchers. I wish they had better performances uh, with those. But you know, as a Milan fan, I'm happy. They're losing point. Torino is losing point. That was the, uh, I, the ideal result there. Um, the same goes for Genoa for Fiorentina. Inter wins at Empoli. Chievo Frosinone. Chievo gets a win against Frosinone. You see, you can beat Frosinone. <sighs> Milan, I actually uh, didn't mention uh, in my rant on the tattoos of the uh, Donnarumma. <laughs> Not only the million base chances Donnarumma saved that day with uh, a few really good saves. He, said he, he seems to be the only one in uh, good form. Sassuolo loses at home 2-6 to Atalanta. Atalanta is becoming really dangerous. I would say at the moment Atalanta is probably the most dangerous team of the ones that are fighting for the last uh, Champions League spot that are well in contention. Um, I think Roma has more talent but Atalanta watch out watch out. Udinese Cagliari 2-0, that uh, was kind of down. A very important result. Napoli wins against Bologna 3-2, 1-1 uh, one, one at halftime. I haven't seen anything. Milik gets two, Mertens uh, gets one. Um, as I see, Milik puts them uh, twice ahead, uh, Bologna twice equals in the 88th. Mertens gets the winner. Um, not that it really matters. Uh, we have to take it into it, hey, but that's that. And then the evening game, I decided to not watch much. Uh, but after 10 minutes or so, I mean, I had the game on after 10 minutes. Um, I was trying to help my wife get the kids ready. I just see that uh, Spal scored at the San Zero. I, I saw the kick, the kick of Emilian again going forward. Yeah, happy go lucky, we're gonna score. And then Spal scores. And I'm watching just for a few minutes and I see the miracle happening. Castillejo puts a goal in the uh, after four goalless games, Milan scores again. Yay. But it was hard work. Uh, they continue to dominate proceedings, and I think in the second half there I saw more, especially the first um, 20 minutes of the second half, then I got bogged down with other work of mine, but I've obviously seen. Uh, they had then a host of chances to kind of put the game away and then finally Higuain, the other one, slams it in and gets the goal that he needed. Um, you could see and that actually made me happy that every one of Milan, including coach, the teammates, they all surrounded Higuain. Uh, what this tells me is that the team is actually a team they work together they are, um, there's no infight or whatever they were all genuinely happy for Iguain of course it wouldn't be Milan if they knock, would make an entire mess out of the end of the game and if it wasn't for Donnarumma and a very lucky deflection the game would have ended in a draw uh, it could have happened easily Suzu gets sent off but yeah Milan gets the win um, cannot uh, tell you how happy I am about that. And now we have, I mean the, t the first three remain unchanged. Juve 53 has a 
points on the season uh, on the year absolutely absolutely incredible only two draws uh, Napoli 44 into 39 Lazio 32 Milan actually makes points good it's now fifth and 31 and Roma is sixth with 30 uh Sampdoria 29 loses the spot and Atalanta 28 I mean Atalanta is four points away at the moment uh, that looks dangerous but I actually would give the slight edge to Roma I gotta, gotta uh, have a feeling that Roma will get this fourth spot um if I look at Milan it doesn't look as bad to be honest uh, you had only one really bad loss. You lost against all the, the, the first three teams. Uh, that I think I can live with. You probably should have beaten Lazio. You let a lot of points lying, you know, in the last few weeks uh, in December for sure. Um, and the one bad loss was against Fiorentina. Um, if I disregard December, I would actually feel quite comfy about Milan. Yes, there were a lot of luck, lucky wins and lucky punches. Uh, but also they let a few points lie. The one thing that gets me a little bit optimistic is that they actually stopped conceding many goals. Still, um, it is a tall order to get this fourth spot. And I don't know if Gattuso will stay or not stay. I honestly have a feeling it helped him, this whole scandal around Inter. That's maybe put him a little bit out of the spotlight and now with the win it was not convincing uh, i still want to say don't change the coach i don't like that i think he gave a new coach a chance uh, at the end of the season i would say uh, let him see out the season maybe something gets together i actually had the feeling that the players want him to stay and that might not be a bad sign i think the team is a lot for it okay well let me know your perspective on things, all things Serie A. You know, I have a very Milan perspective, but Milan is my team. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And also, check out the playlists right around here. Mine, PS2. Talk to you soon.